So as part of As Good As Gold Women, uh, welcome again, Majette. Thank you. This time I'd like to talk a little more deeply about mindset, um, what it means to um, really find out more about who you are as mm. a woman and how that mm. has influenced making decisions around your own financial future. Okay. Well, I've had an interesting journey um, and it's taken a lot of re-education of my own mindset. I was uh, brought up uh, with a very average family where the mindset was to just go to work, work really hard and uh, pay a home if, if you possibly can. And uh, that was it. I, my parents never invested. They didn't even know about it. Um, we were migrants into the country. I was eight when I came to Australia. So some of their traditions from their own country came into Australia, but they never really learned to advance because of the language barrier. So I, uh, I grew up knowing that was it. Um, I, I then one day had the desire to re-educate myself with some pretty dynamic personal growth and development uh, teachers and started to read books. What made you make that decision? I joined actually a company that had, um, it was a direct sales company that had a personal growth and development uh, aspect to creating success. That's why I was exposed to a lot of books on finances, on mindset, on becoming successful and I realised that there was another way of living and experiencing life that I didn't even know existed. Yeah. I was basically living my life like the friends that I attracted in the same group level and mm. that my parents were at, mm. and that's all that I knew. And then through the first course that you did, yes. you started to see that this is, there, there's a possibility for it, abundance. Absolutely. Yeah. And I realised it was up to me to make those changes. And my mindset was absolutely a critical factor and contributing factor to creating success. I realised I had to think differently, not only about my life and who I was uh, as a woman and my, uh, my status in society, but also about the financial aspect, which really I hadn't taken any notice of at all until that time. <laughs> Did you meet other women uh, at these courses and seminars who were similar to you, that all of a sudden a new way of thinking has been presented? Absolutely, mm. and uh, it's uh, initially quite a, a shocking revelation because you need to then um, admit, I think, of where you really are in life and, and dismantle some of the fantasies that you have about yourself and about the reality of life itself, which can be a, quite a hard hit at time as well because um, our fantasies can mislead us into a direction that one day everything's going to be all right. And, and as a woman, there is this thought, one day there's going to be a man that's going to save you and provide you for everything. I was still brought up with that kind of a mindset. So it took a lot to dismantle that and realise that the only person that needs to be responsible for my life is me and that I needed to learn all about that and make different choices and decisions. That was a hard transition but when I actually made that I realised how freeing that was. Very empowering. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. And therefore using that uh, self-awareness mm -hmm. and um, being more empowered allows you to make better financial decisions, doesn't it? The correct information, and that's another thing that uh, I think is very confusing, it was for me, to find the right source of information. Unfortunately, I had to waddle through a lot of misinformation, um, and uh, so to speak, I got bitten a lot of times, thinking I'm on the right track and, and trusting uh, the, the right people, believing that that was the way to go, um, only to find out that I was really let down in the end, and I'd, of course, lost a lot of money as well through those choices and decisions, and I know it is all a learning curve. However, it's a very hard journey when you're um, wanting to, to improve yourself and associating with the wrong people. So the, the, quali the, the quality of information, where it's coming uh, from and the sources that you can truly trust is very, very important to assist you. I believe um, we can only live according to what we know. Absolutely. And uh, to be able to advance further, we need information that's going to take us beyond that to get it from the right people. That is really, really important. So have that guidance. 
I think what you said, though, is uh, is really worth um, so much value to us as women, and that is to really start with dismantling um, certain ways that we think um, yes. around money, finances, but even before that, understanding who we really are to then look at ways to empower ourselves. Absolutely. Um, I think it is in a, a female's nature to be nurturing, to, to care and, uh, and provide with love as opposed to care and provide with the financial aspects, which uh, tend to, in the past, has been left to the males as the providers. And somehow in our psyche, I think that is still embedded. And particularly as, as you mature, of course, your children grow up. And uh, the unfortunately, these days, uh, the instability in relationship, meaning that a lot, of, a lot of people are going to divorce, separate, means uh, the income is going to change, uh, the, the financial status is going to change as well, and all of a sudden uh, a lot of women are left in a lot of hardship. And the true fact to this day, um, on average, women are still learning, earning a lot less than men yes. are. On average, I believe, uh, the uh, average wage is about... Well, about on an average weekly wage, a woman, and this is at the top level, earns about $950 a week, whereas an average male wage is $1,460 a week. Mm. There's a big gap, mm. so there's not that much left over if you have to manage for yourself, look after children, etc., etc., yeah. And if you have to rent because you can't afford to buy a house or you've got a mortgage to, uh, to sustain as well, the difficulty is greater together with the stresses of what comes with that. So unfortunately, a lot of people turn to uh, substances um, that are going to um, create a little bit of uh, uh, peace within them. So they turn to other alcohol or, 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 or medical um, drugs uh, that then shuts down their, uh, their instincts and their clarity of thought and then causes long-term depression. And in that state, you can't make uh, decisions no. based on facts and, and wisdom. And so it, it's like a spiraling down. And uh, unfortunately, the economic aspect is not helping either. So it's very, very difficult times. But I also believe it's never too late to make the change. As soon as you change your mindset, as, as soon as you make the decision that you are worthy and that you can make the difference in your life. It's interesting how quickly circumstances change and it's like the universe comes to support you. I totally agree with that, Majed, that it is never too late to learn and to, to become um, even more empowered to better yourself as an individual, male or female. And I believe something we need to do on a daily basis uh, to sustain a mindset that, that is uh, aligned with the direction you want to go in life is to expose yourself daily to great information. Reading a book, even if it's for only 20 minutes a day, is yeah. something that is going to be educational or something that's going to be inspiring yeah. because we are surrounded by so much negativity. Absolutely. We need to expose ourselves to something positive. Yeah. Your friends association, yeah. really important for a woman to have a, a, a network of support systems through females, males, friendships and through business association as well for their financial advice I think is totally critical for every woman. I think feeding the mind yes. with, with good nourishment is um, absolutely crucial for all of us. So hopefully that also translate in, translates into um, knowing a little more about the uh, opportunity to invest in gold and silver. So thank you. Thank you.